All right, let's start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Almighty Heavenly Father in Hebrew, in the name of His only begotten Son, which is Yahweh Shai, and the Holy Spirit, which is the Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millicent for teaching us His truth. Honors to the brothers that's pushing His truth, risking their life and freedom to do so. And also honors to the hopeful elect, the one third of our people who's returning back to Yahweh and Yahweh Shai during these last days so that he will have mercy on them in these final moments in America. Shalom. So we back with another lesson through the power of the Holy Spirit. In this lesson here, we're going to show that the Lord is really burning up Esau with this heat wave, this drought that's going on all over the world. Now I got a string of clips I'ma play, but when you look at these clips, keep in mind that it's only white people being affected because the Lord is plaguing Esau just like he plagued Egypt. And the scriptures refer to Esau, the white people, as stubble and as chaff. And these are things that burns easily in the sun or burns easily in fire and we all know Esau the white man can't take the heat that's why he gets sunburn that's why he needs sunscreen and he still get burnt up but what the Lord is doing to all these white countries is foreshadowing how the Lord is going to burn up Esau by first burning up his land <clears throat> but now let's let these videos roll to wildfires, not in the Southwest as you might expect, but in Europe. From Portugal to Hungary, thousands of firefighters have been battling blazes this week as oppressive triple-digit heat boils the region. ABC's Inez de la Quatara has more. Good morning, guys. Yeah, and we are just outside of Bordeaux here. Take a look at this. This forest completely charred. That tree trunk still smoking, and that is part of what firefighters are so concerned about, that this could all reignite. More than 12,000 people have been forced from their homes. More than 1,000 firefighters are still fighting two blazes here, but it's not just here. Various parts of Europe are also fighting fires and heat waves. In so, yeah, various parts of Europe is fighting heat waves and fires. Let's continue. Spain and Portugal, dozens of fires are burning. The heat there turning deadly with temperatures climbing to 104 degrees. The UK could be seeing its highest temperatures ever with the National Weather Service there issuing its first ever red extreme heat warning. It is so hot there that the roads appear to be melting. One woman sharing video on social media showing her shoes appearing to stick to the ground. Italy seeing its worst drought in 70 years and in the Alps, rocks keep falling day and night because of dry conditions. Here in France, the Firefighters Federation is making the link to climate change. They're saying we're not going to have to wait till 2030 to see the effects of climate change that they are happening right now. So yeah, Portugal, Italy, France, Hungary, all through Europe, they facing heat waves and forest fires. Now she said the peak temperature was reaching like 104 degrees. Now in Mexico, Central America, South America, and Africa, we ain't worried about no 104 degree temperature. Yeah, it's hot, but we'd be perfectly fine out there. And that's why this heat wave in these high temperatures is such a high concern. It's only affected Esau. Ain't none of the animals affected by it. Ain't none of us so-called blacks, Negroes, and Hispanics affected by the heat. We just get more vitamins in a darker color. But for Esau, this heat is a problem. It's like the earth is trying to burn away a cancer, which that being the so-called white man, because what is it with the sun? Sun has UV radiation, and they got a form of treatment where you got cancer, which would be uh, radiation therapy where they try to burn off the cancer with radiation. So the earth is trying, off, is trying to burn off this cancer 
which is the white man with this UV radiation from the sun. So everything and everybody is working against Esau right now. Uh, the men of the Lord working against Esau. The other nations working against Esau. The earth is working against Esau. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is working against Esau. But let's get on with the next clip. The heat is especially shocking in the UK, a country not prepared for this kind of weather. People are looking for relief wherever they can find it. Roxana Saberi is in London. Roxana, good morning. What are people doing there? Well, Vlad, here in Trafalgar Square, some people are cooling themselves off in the fountain behind me. The UK has just broken its record high temperature today of 102 degrees Fahrenheit. This heat wave has come here from continental Europe, where wildfires continue to rage. From the air and from the ground, firefighters in Spain are scrambling to put out dozens of wildfires. Desperate residents are also stepping in. I feel so impotent, this man says, because there's no solution. This farmer tried to dig a trench to stop the blaze from approaching, but he fled, his clothes on fire, his body badly burned. Now you see the one man, he said that there is no solution for the fire. Then you see this dumb eater my here who tried to pretty much dig a big hole to dig a trench to stop the fire. You see he's running from the scene on fire. It said clothes on fire and he was badly burned. Now, that's in the scriptures. But that's why we go hear Proverbs 6 and 15. Therefore shall his calamity come suddenly. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. Yeah, because these fires came out of a sudden. A fire is suddenness. A fire, once the flame is ignited, it spreads rapidly. So the calamity, Esau's destruction, the plagues coming out of a sudden. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. So Esau's way of living, his way of making money, his economy, his infrastructure is all being broken up without remedy. Remedy is a form of treatment to fix something. So this heat wave, the fires, is breaking up Esau's uh, kingdom, and there's no remedy for it. There's no remedy for the for the for the plagues or for the judgments of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. You can't fight this heat wave. You can't fight the forest fires. You can't fight. You can't do none of that. Now let's let this continue. This farmer tried to dig a trench to stop the blaze from approaching, but he fled, his clothes on fire, his body badly burned. Suddenly shall he be broken without remedy. There's no remedy for this. Nearby, flames forced these passengers to a terrifying halt before they moved on to safety. In France, hot winds are hampering efforts to contain wildfires that have scorched tens of thousands of acres. Meteorologists warn parts of the country now face what they're calling a heat apocalypse. As the UK also swelters, a London airport suspended flights yesterday after part of the tarmac melted. And a police officer took pity on a guard, still in full uniform, at Buckingham Palace. In a country where not even an estimated 5% of homes have air conditioning, many residents and visitors are finding practical ways to stay cool. So yeah, other countries they mentioned, fires in the UK, in France, and in Spain, and they called it a heat apocalypse. So hot that the runaways was melting at the airports, and that's the spirit. Because we know the apocalypse, or the so-called end of the world, is going to come in the form of fire, which would be the thermonuclear destruction. That's the end of the white man's rulership in the earth. But what the Lord is doing is burning up these Edomite countries. All these countries we got listed so far is all white countries, where Esau mainly live at. And the Lord is burning up these countries to foreshadow how he's going to burn up Esau from the face of the earth. 
But with that being said, also, you see these Edomites trying to stay cool by swimming in the water. We know they can't do that. That's bad for them. That's the cancer in direct sunlight, in direct radiation. So they all going to die from skin cancer next. And not only that, they are the cancer to the earth. So they digging their own grave. And that's a beautiful sight. Even with the destruction of the Lord, it's a piece of art. And this in California. We know California always on fire. Which is America. America is the white man's land. That's that chaff, that's that stubble. These trees represent Esau being burnt up. Y'all can't tell me that's a beautiful scenery. So yeah, that's that clip. We're going to get on to the next one. In California, 6,000 people are now under an evacuation after an out-of-control wildfire blew up in size overnight. And it's now near Yosemite National Park. Steve Patterson has the latest. Tonight, fast-moving flames tearing through more than 6,000 acres in Mariposa, California. Gutting homes in mere minutes. The chirps came up. They go, you got to go now. It's just like a hurricane. Overnight, the Oak Fire exploded, now forcing more than 6,000 to evacuate. The spread so rapid, it reportedly trapped residents in their own homes. A husband and wife unable to get out of their house. The flames racing over a runway of drought-stricken brush, driven by heavy wind, stoked by high heat, have so far destroyed at least 10 structures, including homes. I know the one next to me, um... Down at the bottom of the driveway, burnt to the ground. The emergency prompting Governor Newsom to call for federal assistance as the fire marches just 30 miles from the doorstep of Yosemite National Park, where firefighters are still working to contain the Washburn fire. That fire, now 79% contained, tore through more than seven square miles, threatening hundreds of century-spanning giant sequoias, thankfully saved by round-the-clock crews. Tonight, the rapidly expanding Hope Fire, already the largest California wildfire this year, is burning out of control with no containment and no sign of slowing down. A season of flames stoked by a worsening climate just getting started. Steve Patterson, NBC News. Now see, that's that heat apocalypse that we just heard about a few clips ago. And then they say, uh, just getting started? Yeah, because the Lord just getting started. The Lord ain't even really lifted up a finger yet towards America. And we see how all these white countries, including America, is being burned. The UK, France, Portugal, Hungary, Italy, Spain, America, all through Europe. The Lord is burning these Edomites up. Now I got one more clip. Actually, a few more.
Can y'all notice the cause of the fire is always being investigated? Then the Lord say, should there be evil in the city and the Lord not done it? The Lord caused these fires. Now, just a couple more, another country to add to the list. Rome is actually on fire too. Now, this is a real short clip. So yeah, everything is on fire. You can add Rome to the list. The streets melting, the railroads buckling up, power going out. Now this is the last clip. Even volcanoes going off. The Lord is busy. All this stuff going on at once. Not to mention the war still going on. This going to cause a famine because it's a drought. None of these farmlands getting rain. The farmlands being burnt down. And that's why we're going to pull this up right here, this chaff, so we can see the definition with the scriptures once we get to it. So, this is the focus, Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. We see an early sign of this day to come, the day that shall burn as an oven. Now, this ain't talking about the heat wave we're experiencing. This is talking about the nuclear destruction. The destruction of America and all these places where the Edomites live at. And it's funny, the UK, France, Portugal, Spain, America, Rome, Hungary, Italy, and many more white Edomite countries. Everywhere you see these fires, that's the places the nuclear missiles going to hit. Because you notice it ain't no fires in Africa. Ain't no fires in South America, Central America. It's just all, all the places where the white people live at. So the day that's going to come, that's going to burn as an oven, we see in the days that's going to lead up to that day. So let's read it again. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yeah, all that do wickedly, shall be stubble. We know, thanks to Malachi, what is it, 1 and 3 or 1 and 4? that the house of Esau, that they are the border of wickedness. They the wicked. So when it says all that do wickedly, this is talking about Esau, the Edomites. And it says shall be stubble. What is stubble? Stubble, chaff, straw, as dry. So pretty much hay, stuff that burn up easily. So the wicked, being the house of Esau, shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up. Now, this is not talking about the days of the heat wave. It's talking about a particular day. The destruction of America is going to come burn them up. Just like we see this house. Now, imagine every house, every building in America, every body in America engulfed in nuclear fire. This is regular fire. Now, imagine nuclear fire. That's what's coming. The day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. And that's why I say all them trees you see burning up, that represents Esau. Because when we read, it shall leave them neither root nor branch, if you consider a family tree. Esau would be the root. And then as that tree grew, it grew branches. That would be Esau's descendants. That's the white, the white race we see today. And the family tree of the white race, the family tree of Esau, is going to be burnt up, leaving no survivors. That's why it says that it shall leave them neither root nor branch. It's going to burn them up from the branch all the way down to the root. They will be no more. And that's why when we hit Isaiah 29 and 5, moreover, the multitude of thy strangers, which will be the two-thirds and the other nations, shall be like small dust and the multitude of the terrible ones who's the terrible ones this the house of esau the white man the terrible ones shall be as chaff that passeth away what's the chaff it's straw it's hay stuff that burn up quickly and the terrible ones being the wicked shall be as chaff that passeth away yeah it shall be at an instant suddenly 
So in an instant, suddenly, they are gonna pass away in this, in this nuclear destruction. And all these fires in these Edomite countries, the Lord has shown us what's to come to those countries, what's to come to Esau. Let's go down. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise, with storm and tempest and the flame of devouring fire. So the Lord is going to visit Esau so that he shall be his chaff and pass away in an instant by this devouring fire. And we see in the foreshadowing of that devouring nuclear fire by this ordinary fire that we see here. And going back to Malachi 4 and 1, we see this word stubble, them that do wickedly, we gonna prove that this is Esau. Then coming over, who would be the ones that do wickedly? It would be the terrible ones. That's why going up in the multitude of the terrible ones should be his chaff. So we see here the word stubble and the word chaff. Different words, same meaning. So now when we hit Obadiah 1 and 18, and the house of Jacob shall be a fire. So the Lord is going to raise us up, and he's comparing us to this fire. The house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau, the white man for stubble. Let's read this again. And the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame, and the house of Esau for stubble. Esau is going to be as stubble, as dry hay, stuff that burns easily in the fire. And they shall kindle them and devour them. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. No coincidence that all these Edomite countries are the countries that's burning right now, where volcanoes are going off. That's the Lord visiting the terrible ones with that devouring fire. Isaiah 29 and 6, Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with these plagues and with the flame of devouring fire. Going back to Malachi 1 and 4, remember, and all that do wickedly shall be stubble. We now know that the house of Esau is that stubble and the house of Esau for stubble. Isaiah 29, and the terrible ones shall be as the chaff or as the stubble. That's going to be Esau that passeth away in an instant, suddenly, by this devouring fire. And there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. We read that already, Malachi 4 and 1. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, the white man is the proud, all that do wickedly shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, that it shall leave them neither root nor branch, meaning no survivors of the family tree of Esau. That entire bloodline is going to be wiped out. That's why, going back to Obadiah 18, the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there should not be any remaining but the house of Esau, for the Lord has spoken it. And this is the house of Esau. There should not be any remaining of them. That's this house on fire that represents the house of Esau. So the Lord is really burning up Esau, first by burning up his land and everything he owned. But this is what's to come to the world. It's to burn up Esau with the nuclear destruction. But that's it for this lesson here. Till next time.